Hello citizens of Radimati Nation of Theodora, welcome to the Frontiers of Clearing Beside S4. 22nd place in total score, yeah boy! <laughs> uh. Is the great leader of XTSM jungle? Ah! <laughs> he kinda looks like a freaking Korean, a Korean leader. I wasn't following the competitive scene of League lately. My bad. Corfu is still not annexed. That's interesting. So let's take a look at uh, the coring ranges and see. Like we might actually get to tech level seven before anything of importance happens here. Uh, we'll get plus one fifteen increase on level seven. If we get that, our coring range will be two seventy five. <clears throat> which is actually equal to your colonial range. Naval range 160. Effective distance to... So let's say Urbino 255 will be colonizable slash corable whatever. Re the papal, like the Romania will be able... Yeah, we will be able to pretty much reach of, over to everything here. Good. We'll be able to reach as far as to Corsica if anything. Or here. Yeah, it is possible. Dun, 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 dun. Malta. Yeah, we need that tech. If we get tech 7, we'll be pretty much able to cover all of Italy. Anything in Italy, apart from uh, Sardinia, will be within our grasp. And that is pure awesome. Cyprus is still guaranteed by the Mamluks. Ottomans decided to go for the war with Mamluks. Hmm. It's probably not that effective to go for Cyprus. We could go for Cyprus. Maybe. Maybe not. I really wish I, I really wish that Urbino doesn't die out before we will come for them. Ideally, uh, what's this? Yeah, we'll use that. Ideally, Castile inherits Aragon, or just binds them into a, a PU right before we'll be we'll declare war on. Oh fuck! Urbina is a vassal of Aragon. Shit! That's silly, and that sucks. Oh, Tuscany allied with France. We could, we could get Papal State. Or something from the Papal State. Theodoro to Italy. Well, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Switzerland, Castile, and Genoa. It's either Romania or Urbino, but since like Urbino is a vassal of Aragon, probably not Urbino. God damn it, Aragon! Why? Why? How could this happen to me? <coughs> Allied with Switzerland, Castile, and Genoa. I can't wait until France decides to attack the Papal State for course. Or not course, but just land here, basically. They will eventually want that. Probably. Most likely. What about Ferrara? Ferrara is the part of HRE, I don't want to attack them. Unless Austria gets completely obliterated in a war, which it did not yet. Remind you that is the Imperial Territory, map mode. Everything in green is Imperial Territory. <coughs> Yellow stripes indicate that uh, this is Imperial Territory, but it's owned by a non-Imperial Prince. Like in this case, so uh, Savoy is owned by Burgundy. Why? Who the fuck knows? <laughs> <coughs> By the way, Burgundy has a good chance to do well in this in this particular case. <laughs> Damn it, at this rate we might not even be able to escape. Like ugh. Damn.
Ah, good. We get a 524 and a 324 is an air. Nice. Andronikos of Gothia is gonna be our king right now. King! <sighs> now, to think what happens if um, Muscovy declares in Poland or vice versa, I think I'll probably support Muscovy. No, I'll I'll support I'll support whoever defends in the war. If Muscovy attacks Poland, I'll support Poland. If Poland attacks Muscovy, I'll support Muscovy. That's probably going to be for the better. For the better. Sure. Fine. I'm bored. Really? Oh no, that's my allies. Lol. <laughs> Funny. Sure, let's attack them. Whatever. It's probably a bad idea. But I'm bored. I'm really... I really am. That's... That's pretty much it. I'm bored. So I need to attack somebody. Somebody! Not a bad general. Three one zero zero. In comparison, especially. Karaman has left the coalition. All right. Well, that's cool. You know what? I just had a crazy idea. What if we try to challenge the Ottomans? Byzantium. Byzantium, my buddy friend. We need to ally you. We also need to declare war on Karaman. The sooner the better. And we will vassalize Karaman. We also need... Yeah, we don't need anything else, pretty much. Pretty much that's gonna be the plan. So as soon as the war with Circassia is over and we vassalize Circassia, we go to war with Karaman. We vassalize Karaman. We ally ourselves to Byzantium. And then... As soon as Ottomans attack Karaman, it will incur the wrath of Poland, Muscovy, Byzantium, all of our little vassals here. The plan is gonna work out. We will smack the shit out of, Byzant out of the Ottomans. We'll spawn all the little guys here. We will annex the shit out of the Anatolian Belix and become the new Byzantine Empire. <laughs> Screw the HRE! Alright, so I'm changing things on the fly here as uh, as our Crimea vassal here just kicks the shit out of Circassia. Well, I, I'll even drop the army maintenance to zero. We don't need an army. We already have one in the face of Crimea. Holy crap, uh, that is awesome. I think I want to do this. Finally, our royal marriage with Georgia died out. Thank God. It will spare the room for one of our va for a vassal of ours, Circassia. This is great. The Holy Roman Orthodox Empire. No, screw that Holy Roman Empire in the north. What is this Germanic bullshit? We want to reclaim the Greece and Anatolia. This will be ours. <laughs> and we will convert everything to uh, Gothic. Gothic Empire. <laughs> Yes. This will be done. This will be the new goal, goal for this series. We'll have to conquer basically everything that is required for the... Um, restore the theme system. It's not enough! <laughs> uh. <coughs> I mean, eventually we might even... <coughs> Sorry. Eventually, we might even um, get into HRE, even after we did that, by just, you know, kicking the shit out of the electors, and yada yada yada. Although, HRE is kind of overrated lately. Like, I don't even like it in this match. You get EA penalty if you vassalize the electors, so it's really fucking difficult to keep control. It's much harder than it used to be. Like, you used to be able to simply go to war with some electors, vassalize them, and then you keep getting elected. 
I, I, I really like the old system. I really like. I really do. I really think that was pretty pretty interesting. And pretty fair, like you vassalize the you managed to vassalize electors. Congratulations, you get uh, cookies in terms of uh, ele pretty much eternal emperorship. But no, let's just do things uh, differently. <clears throat> Second war of Theodore aggression. I mean, how in the world <clears throat> vassalizing electors decreases your imperial authority? If anything, it should increase your imperial authority because you're the fucking boss and you have showed everybody that you're a motherfucking boss. You have you own the bitches. <coughs> I mean, uh, you own the princess. <clears throat> Ah, yeah, but you can abuse the mechanics of uh, releasing princes to just absolutely ridiculous extent. I've seen that strategy before, Voodoo. You were talking about the strategy <coughs> in which you uh, ally somebody like Bavaria. You, well, I don't know, maybe not Bavaria. Somebody, you get some allies in HRE. You uh, declare war on somebody like Salzburg. You transfer occupation to, to that dude. You let them annex, then you release the nation, and start yada yada yada. Then you make them electorate. No, no, no. First, first you revoke electorate from somebody. It's based on uh, that giving electorate gives you EA, Imperial Authority. So you give electorate to somebody like Salzburg here, then you let someone else annex him, <clears throat> which means you lose the Imperial Authority. Then you release that nation, which gives you the same amount of Imperial Authority by going to war for them, with them, obviously. Then um, you give them electorate again, you... Um... Oh no, you don't go to war with them. You ask them nicely to, like, demand un you demand unlawful territory from them. Yeah, that's right, that's how you manage to stay allies with them. You demand unlawful territory and they do not refuse. <coughs> they release it. Uh, the nation spawns right back, you grant them electorate status again, then you go to war with them again, let them get annexed by another nation, all the aggressive expansion gets taken by the other nation, by the way. You keep on doing that until you have tons and tons of stuff. <coughs> nah, get out of here. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Ah oh, yeah, King of Burgundy died. No surprise here, <coughs> and that's a pretty standard split, 50-50. That's actually a, a little bit more than that, I think. Oh, the Emperor decided to give back the Savoy to... well, Savoy. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <coughs> I was wondering if he's gonna keep the land or not, but I guess that solves the, the question, the issue. No, Circassia, I'm sorry. You will become my bitch. Ha 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 Deal with it. <coughs> so unfortunately we'll be over our uh, relations limit that way. But, screw that, we're going with a new plan. According to our new plan, we have tons of allies and three vassals. Nobody needs diplomatic technology anyway, right? We can take take a, an idea group. Mm. <coughs> Defensive early. It's really gonna be the best option here. Yeah. We'll take this. Yeah, that I basically already described how we can do this. You can easily unite uh, HRE until 1500. And I guess you can do that as any kind of as any kind of emperor. It's just going to take a little bit longer. HRE unite. <clears throat> I don't like how this um, is a thing. I'd much rather prefer to well keep the old mechanics because the old mechanics weren't as broken. But okay, yeah.
You don't even need to get called into a war. You just go to war with it yourself. I suppose that might be easier. Yeah, Reddit post. Exactly. <clears throat> I wonder if we can vassalize him right away. I really don't want to get rid of any diplomats, though. Aww, we only got four votes so far. Aww. That's really a... Oh, five. Okay, good. Oh, look. Still pretty bad. But oh well. Austria and France are now rivals. Good. This is perfect. Serbia? Mm, not at the moment. We'll become enemies with uh, uh, Serbia. Besides, why would we even need Serbia as an ally when we have Muscovy at Poland? <laughs> uh, I really want to ally Byzantium just so it doesn't get eaten by Ottomans. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, we are at war. You become a vassal. Sure, let's do that. Alright, that was good. He's got pretenders, it doesn't matter. Although maybe it does, he's got the same dynasty bonus with me so far. Yeah, I think we'll need to uh, deal with his rebellion. With his little mumbo-jumbo there. Let's um, do the check mark and we'll go to Azaraba. Azaraba! Azaraba! Alright. Next target, Karaman. We'll vassalize Karaman. He has no tr Oh my god, we need to do act now. Oh shit. Karaman, how strong are you? 9,000. We'll proclaim a guarantee of Karaman. 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 Garaman. Garaman. At least this might actually prevent Ottomans from attacking him right off the bat. I don't know. Ooh, a court painter. Yes, please. Yeah, let's do that. Will this cross the river? We'll cross the river. Probably not gonna cross the river from Adige, as, I, as far as I can tell. Let's go. I don't like this, these pretender rebels. I kinda screwed myself over, actually. Shit. Now we'll have a five-year truce with them. Damn it! Crap. Oh, well. Oh, well. That was a bad idea. full of morale? Yeah, we are. I don't like... He's pretty... He's too far away. He's not gonna be able to arrive in time if we, I need help. You're not gonna give me... <clears throat> you're not gonna give me access, really? Alright. We'll improve relations. Relations will be improved between our nations. Gotta improve relations between the nations. Bokadir might be a better target, but they're already at war with Ottomans. Oh. Oh yeah, they're at war with Ottomans, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Holy shit, what? Oh, this is Mamluks? I thought this belongs to Karakiyumli, I honestly thought that. Alright. <coughs> sure. Whatever floats your boat. 
Will that cross the river, by the way? No, it will not. It's got a better shock leader there. It's got a better leader. <coughs> He's got a better leader. Alright, is this enough? It is, good. Give me access. Just for a little bit. Not for long. This is gonna be a woods. Just gonna leave this army here. Alright, cancel the axis. Nice. <clears throat> Who is this war with? The Baristan. I can't even see them. It's probably a tough nation too. To play as. Yeah, Hungary wants their course back. That's pretty much the end of Transylvania right there. <laughs> that was quick. Boom, boom. It's gonna cross the river. Can I pick them up? Will you attach to me if I do this? No. Stinking little Circassians. Whatever, screw this. Doesn't matter to me that much, I, s I suppose. Ask for military access. Go home, boys. We don't care about these Circassian bastards. Von Hohenzollern has rose to the throne in Brandenburg. Is a two-two-one. Is that the default? Their default heir. Can't recall. All right, cancel. And let's improve relations <coughs> with Monsieur Circassia here. Ah, another. There's a new sultan here. He's a diplomatic dude. Diplomatic dude, he is. Diplomatic dude. Alright. State appointed lay members. Yeah, appoint them, totally. It's gonna be good. I can get an idea. Battlefield commissions. Should we? We're not ahead of time or anything. Ah, let's wait. We will wait. We got a pretty good military skill. On our ruler here, so I think we should wait. Five out of four diplomatic relations. What is this? Is this Ottoman occupation of Cyprus? Now it's occupied by Venice. Really? Oh, Venice just seized the opportunity to, to acquire Cyprus. That's very cu curious. I rarely see Venice AI do that. Alright, I think it's time to put a cut in between YouTube episodes here, so thank you guys for watching. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to comment, rate, and positively subscribe to my channel for like this. I'll see you next time as always. Have a good day.